You've probably seen a ton of videos breaking down Tesla's battery day this year, whilst others focus on the magnificent size and power that this revolutionary battery generates, the range increase in vehicles and the fluctuation in stock prices. What most miss out is the sustainability factor, and that's what I'm going to focus on today. Tesla has announced a brand new bigger battery called the 4680. It has five times more energy capacity, is six times more powerful, 56% cheaper to produce, and has a 16% increase in range of Tesla's vehicles. The new cells are much faster, larger, and the battery requires less materials to be manufactured using sustainable methods. Having that many contact locations inside the cell distributes the power better, instead of having all the electrons rushing through a little tab. Tesla's goal for the new cell is to slash manufacturing cost per kilowatt hour by 50% and to increase the power that these cells can store. On just one charge, the car can go up to 400 miles further between charges, and its whole useful life would be over a million miles. The battery is currently in production at a factory in Vermont, and Elon Musk estimated that they will reach 10 gigawatts capacity within a year. This new plan will support the company to reach 3 terawatts capacity by 2023. Tera means a trillion, so that's 1,000 times more than a giga, and that's a lot of power. Tesla announced three new cathode chemistries to replace or minimize the use of cobalt, the most expensive metal used in EVs. It's also an environmentally unfriendly practice that exploits child laborers working in the mines of the Republic of Congo. Tesla currently uses an NCA chemistry that's lithium nickel cobalt aluminium, whilst lithium nickel cobalt manganese NMC chemistries are common across the rest of the EV industry. The first is a new high nickel cathode which relies on noble dopants and coatings to replace cobalt and is 100% nickel. This has the highest energy density of the bunch, but it also costs the most. A little cheaper is the new nickel manganese cathode in something like a two-thirds, one-third mix. This is also cobalt free and its chemistries dropped the price considerably in trade for a bit of energy density. Tesla's third cathode is lithium iron phosphate. Now, this is the cheapest of the group and the least energy dense. To support Tesla's operations in China, it lined up a new battery agreement with CATL, a manufacturer of LFP cells. Earlier this year, it got government approval to produce Model 3s in China using that chemistry. Tesla aims to reach 20 million cars a year by 2030, which would require require 3 terawatt hours of batteries a year and the lithium industry will need to grow eight times more just to supply to Tesla. A $50 billion investment over the next 15 years is needed to meet battery demand if the world is going to meet the targets of the Paris Climate Accord. Tesla signed an agreement with North Carolina-focused mining group Piedmont Lithium to buy five years of their output starting 2022. Tesla could lower the cost of lithium production by 33% by producing the lithium from Piedmont and elsewhere at its new refinery in Texas. Tesla have acquired 10,000 acres of land in Nevada to mine lithium only as needed. The implemented process requires using simple table salt to extract the metal by cutting a chunk of earth, pulling it out, taking out the lithium, then putting that piece of earth back where it originally was. This is a clever process that has no impact on the environment or the surrounding communities. And simpler mining methods require simpler recycling, so everybody wins. Cheaper batteries and simpler manufacturing processes mean Tesla may be able to release a fully autonomous electric car with a $25,000 price tag within the next three years. The result is that they replace fossil fuel engines with EV motors, so it's a clean transition.